So here we'll look at how we install doors into our curtain walling or our conservatory. And uh, it's a bit different to what we're used to doing. So normally we, we would actually go into doors and then we would select whatever door we wanted from our properties box and we can just place it where we like. Uh, on the curtain wall, you see that you can't actually do that. It won't let you do that. So we have to go about it in a slightly different way. So the way we're going to do this is to actually start looking at it in the 3D view. I'll find it easier to work in 3D. Um, so if I wanted to put a door into this panel here, a single door into this panel here, um, I need to hover over over the curtain wall itself. And you can see where I'm hovering, uh, the lines start to turn blue. I'm then going to tab, and you can see I'm tabbing through a series of different options. So I've got the whole thing, uh, the whole thing, I've got just that bottom uh, sill there. And then here, can you see I've got this blue line going around where the glass is? So when I click onto that, that's when I can start changing stuff. So I can come up to here in the properties box, I can change that glazed panel, I could change it to a solid if I wanted to. Um, and that would now become a solid panel. Um, the trouble is I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to go back into here and select it again. Uh, what I need to do now is <coughs> actually go into um, Insert and Load Family. When I'm in Load Family uh, and you're in your family's uh, dialog box, find the curtain wall panels. So come into curtain wall panels and then find uh, a door. Uh, I suggest you start with a single door, and we can look at double doors in a minute because we've got to do something slightly different for those, uh, and just find uh, any particular glass door that you wanted. Um, uh, I don't know, let's, let's choose that one there. Uh, so I'm going to choose that one there, and uh, what I'll do now is go back into this, and I'm going to toggle through with the tab key on the keyboard, so just keep toggling through. So I just hover, I've not clicked anything yet, just clog, hovering over until I find, there it is, uh, this glaze panel. It's quite tricky to get used to doing this. Uh, it can be quite frustrating to start with, but just get used to hovering over an area and then using the tab key, just pressing it once at a time to start selecting. Once I've got that glaze panel selected, uh, I'll come back up to the properties box and now I should see my uh, glass door that I inserted and there it is sitting there. So I'll click onto that and that now changed it into um, a door. It's changed, changed that glass panel into a door. Um, the other problem I've got here is I've got this um, this uh, sill, I need to get rid of that because I don't want to be tripping over it. So uh, I can unclick it and then just hit delete. That now brings that door down to the bottom. Um, if you don't want that, uh, we can just undo that uh, using the undo button. Uh, so that's how you put a single door. And to put a pair of doors in, it's slightly different. So I'm just going to get rid of that door and get rid of that panel. So I'm just using the undo key on that. Uh, so if I wanted a pair of doors in here, um, I've got to do it slightly different because if I was just to do what I did then and insert a pair of doors, the pair of doors between would be, would be between these two mullions here. I don't want that. I want them to be between these two outer mullions going right way across here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this center one. So that one there, unclick it and hit delete. I've still got the two glazed panels in there. Um, and the easiest way to get rid of those, uh, because there is a bug in Revit, which prevents you doing it the way they suggest, uh, is to find, and again, I'm just going to use my uh, tab key or just hovering to find this center line here. Once I've done that, uh, I can then uncheck it. So there, and I'm now going to drag it all the way out of the way. So it's now to one side. It can be to this side or it can be over to that side. It doesn't matter which one it is. So now when I back into my 3D view, it's just one panel. There's one panel in there and there's nothing down the middle. Uh, with that then, again, I can hover and I can tab over the top until I get to my glazed panel. There it is. I'm going to go into insert and load family. And this time I'm going to uh, select a, a double pair of doors. And I'm probably going to go for this one here because it's uh, it's got a frame around the outside of it as well. So I'm going to choose those and uh, Go back into this drawing over here because we've been out of it. So tab through until I get my glazed panel again. I'm struggling on this one. There it is. So with my glazed panel now selected, you can see it's all in blue. I can come up to my properties box, which has changed, and I can now pick out uh, my double doors. So here I've got my double doors, uh, glass ones. So I'm going to pick on those, and now I've now put into my uh, double doors to there. Um, again, for this one, you can either leave this sill in there if that's what you want, like a conservative would have. Uh, if this was uh, doors going into a public area, for instance, then you might want to have this sill removed, in which case you would just click on it and you'd bring it out. So if you're using a commercial setting, a shop or a retail or whatever, um, and you can see how those doors have now been put into, into place.
That's how you put, place doors uh, into curtain walls.